We are all more than ready to get outside, enjoy our own backyards. Turf Mud Foundation's Chris Kaiser is back to share his list of the top 10 backyarding trends for 2024. Good morning. Good morning. Good to be with you. Happy spring. Right Happy spring. Well, it doesn't feel like it, but it's coming. It's around the corner. I feel it. Indeed. I've got daffodils up here in Louisville, Kentucky, um, but you're right. We're in that swing with 75 degrees and now it's 30 degrees, but that's typical spring out here. Well, that's there. You're right. You're right. You're in the tri-state. Well, Chris, let's walk through some of the ideas and trends that you are observing about pe maybe people are looking to downsize or to buy a bigger home. What's the backyard concerns there? It's number one. Uh, now realtors are telling you one of the principal reasons people are looking for some of the what they're finding online is they're searching for homes with yards. Uh, we saw it really begin in COVID and now people are reconnecting to their outdoors and they're tailoring those spaces. So whether they're entertaining outdoors, cooking outdoors, exercising outdoors, they're looking for ways to get their kids off their devices. Um, getting a dog helps with that. But <laughs> planning and creating those outdoor spaces. And so exercise areas in particular. And we're seeing a resurgence of the old games, the old yard games, badminton, croquet, cornhole. They're coming back into vogue as people reconnect to the outdoors. Well, and you know, for those of us who might be thinking about getting a smaller home, still kind of like to be near a green space. Absolutely. That's the other thing people are searching for is buying near a park, near a golf course, near a dog park, near outdoor areas. Uh, we know connecting to the outdoors, being outside helps us with stress, anxiety, relief, whatever. Uh, it's also very good on kids and dogs uh, for exercise and well-being. So they're looking for those green spaces, maybe not wanting to manage them themselves, but to be near that park. And that's why it's so crazy important for, and we just gave a dog park here to the city of Louisville, is crazy to create those outdoor spaces downtown where people live. Yeah, they're, they're becoming more and more popular and necessary. One of the things that I see around here is that m more folks are inviting their neighbors over or having a, an event for the neighborhood. Absolutely. And again, we really saw it get flight in COVID. But what has happened is that has stayed. People have reconnected. We're seeing it, frankly, in the investment in power equipment um, to maintain those spaces. But yes, people are entertaining outdoors. They've created those outdoor kitchens and those outdoor spaces and those social spaces, and they're using them. Um, so we want to empower them to do that and find your niche, whether you're, whether you're a cook, I have an outdoor office, connect to nature while you're out there. Put some nuts on your desk outside. I have a table outside where I work. Um, and lo and behold, the birds show up. I've got a fox, if the dogs aren't out, a fox who will come, I throw him a hot dog and he'll lay around and watch me work. People connect to the outdoors. Nature has adapted it itself to us. So again, we can do our part to help a little bit. Nature starts at your back door, plant some flowering plants and you'll get butterflies and bees. We need that, you need, they need that support, especially bees in the spring. Put in a butterfly bush, you'll get butterflies throughout the season. Chris, can you send our viewers to a website where they can learn more? Because the list is pretty long of the trends and tips. You bet it. Uh, Turfmutt.com. T-U-R-F-M-U-T-T.com. And that'll get you started. All right, Chris Kaiser, always good to see you. Thank you. Good to be with you. And more lifestyles for you right after this. Stay with us.